had indeed been. The boy rode a minivan style school bus like the ones parked in this lot here in Methuen. Investigators say fortunately the bus was equipped with a camera, which they say caught the alleged abuse. Did you no hurt that boy? No. No. 56 year old Nancy Vasquez from Lawrence left court and headed for house arrest. Until last week, Vasquez worked as a bus monitor for the private company NRT on a van like this. And prosecutors say she repeatedly abused a boy with autism. She hits him with a sandal. She hits him with her cell phone multiple times. She pinches him. She twists his arm. She continuously smacks him in the face. The boy's name is Anthony Amaro Jr. He's 10 years old, described as nonverbal. His family became suspicious after Anthony started seeming afraid to get in the van. So they asked the company to check the van's surveillance video, and investigators say it shows Vasquez beating Anthony every day during the entire one hour ride. Prosecutors say Anthony clapped his hands together to try to communicate for her to stop. She hits him over the fact that he um, touches his face or he touches his boogers, that he looks at her, that he wants to hold her hand. Vasquez's attorney pointed out she has no criminal record and no complaints during her four years working for NRT. In fact, she says another family called Vasquez a godsend. Nancy is a loving and caring mother who lacked appropriate training and was way over her head. Vasquez has since been fired. Anthony continues to go to school. Now, one of his teachers rides with him. His father told me by telephone. He's still, you know, a little skittish in the morning to get on the bus. The driver of the van has also been charged with permitting abuse of a person with disabilities. She was released earlier this week, and both women are due back in court next month. Live in Methuen, David Beanick, WCBB News Center 5.